welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a requested video on the Stila Stay All Day. So this is the fourth installment of my liquid lipstick reviews. The first one I did was Anastasia Beverly Hills. The second one was Dose of Colors. The third one was Kat Von D. Today will be Stila and then I do, I did pick up a couple of those Sephora brands that you ladies asked about. So um, I did just blow dry my hair, not very well either, but um, I do have to finish doing it. But first I wanna get this on because it is already later in the day. It's Friday and I will be going out, so I will definitely be able to have this on for eight hours. So I did exfoliate my lips just like in the other videos using the Ava Anderson Lip Scrub. Um, then I put on a moisturizer while I did my makeup. That's the Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm that was in that perfect pout kit I got. First what I'm gonna do is wipe off the excess of that balm just so there is nothing slipping and sliding underneath that. Now I'm going to line my lips with Max Cherry Lip Liner. Red, I think, is especially important to really emphasize that Cupid's bow. And um, something that I always used to do was drawing it like trying to follow my lip curve exactly, and I would end up looking like the Mar arches at McDonald's. So what I do now is I just draw across there if you guys can see like uh, start at the top of the Cupid's bow and just draw a line straight down and then the same thing on that side straight down so it really emphasizes your Cupid's bow. So today I'm going to be wearing Stila's Biso. This is one of my favorite reds. Okay, so I'm gonna let this set um, for a little bit. These do take just a little bit to set. I mean, not a long time, but they are super creamy. This one is creamy pigment, whereas like the Kat Von D almost goes on like, it's not watery, but it's not creamy. It's like as soon as you paint it on, it's just pure color. These ones are a little more creamy. Okay, now while that's setting, I'm gonna go back through with my MAC Cherry Lip Liner, and I'm just gonna really try to crisp up that line. Then next what I'm gonna do is, just like the other videos, I have a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on this palette from when I did my makeup today. And I'm gonna take that on my MAC 195 pointed concealer brush and I'm going to line the outside of my lips. I'm gonna do a few check-ins throughout the day. Um, right now it is 2.07 in the afternoon. I'm gonna go finish my hair and I have a bunch of other things to do, so I will check back in in a few hours, guys. Hey guys, so it is 6.06. .06. It is roughly four hours after initial application. This is amazing. This one has um, really worn really well. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the wear. Um, I did only just drink some water out of a straw. I haven't eaten anything since two. Um, I did order some food that will be here in a little bit and so I will eat that and so my next check-in I would have already eaten something. I'm supposed to be going out tonight but I'm so tired. I had such a busy work week and I just have a lot of stuff to catch up on and I am really tired so I might just be like totally lazy and lay on the couch with my takeout food and my puppy and my kitty and just relax. Um, I really did want to go out this weekend, so maybe I will tomorrow. We will see how I feel, but the struggles are real at 33. I don't have the energy I once did. What I can tell you guys about this is this has been so far, uh, besides the dose of colors, the dose of colors in this one were pretty neck and neck, but actually this Stila one might be more comfortable to wear. This has been the most comfortable, I would say, to wear of all the liquid lipsticks I've done so far. And I haven't tried the Sephora brand yet, but I do have Lime Crime, and I can tell you that Lime Crime gets very dry, and I find it, it can be uncomfortable after a while. So um, I think this one is going to win for that. Let me zoom in to show you guys the wear. Okay guys, so if you can see, it's not fading anywhere. I'm still trying to get the dry skin under control on my nose, but it's getting better. So it, it does not have a line, it's no crusties, it has not faded anywhere. You can see the line on the inside of my lip there, which 
it's not like the other ones, you know, if they were kind of peeling. To the best of my knowledge, Sephora is no longer carrying Stila. Um, when I was just in my local store, they had cleared it out for another makeup brand that I'm not familiar with, and they told me that you could still get them at Ulta or online, so I don't know if they have any online still. I have not checked. Um, I love the Stila Stay All Day. I wish their color selection was wider. I'm going to check back in in another four hours to give you a total of eight hours of wear to show you how it's going. Um, I did order takeout food. <laughs> I've been craving like a Philly cheesesteak. I know it's not good for me, but that's fine. I've been eating healthy since I got back from vacation, which was like, what, half a week? <laughs> um, not that great, but I want a Philly cheesesteak. I'm craving that. So I did order a sandwich and I will be eating that. So I am kind of curious to see how this will hold up. I'll try to like kind of take it in small bites so I'm not like, I don't know. If you guys can't tell, I have a thing for sandwiches. I really love them. <laughs> I think my last video I had eaten a Subway sub as well. Okay guys, so it is 10.03. It is eight hours after application. Um, I kind of ruined this. I mean, I'm going to zoom in to show you. It has actually lasted amazing because right after I filmed my last check-in... Oh, hi, kitty. Cat wants to come say hi. Hi, kitten. You should say hi. This is Massimo, my cat. <laughs> Go sit down. I, I told you guys I ordered food. I ate a Philly cheese steak, which was like hot and oozy and I could see myself like eating my lipstick <laughs> as I was eating it. Um, but I'm gonna zoom in and show you. I mean, it, it held up amazing. Okay guys, so you can see here, it's like completely gone on that inside rim, but otherwise it has worn perfectly. It doesn't look like it's peeling. It is not dry. It is not uncomfortable. It wasn't just like eating off a fork because if that's what I was doing, it would be okay. I'm just going to show you really quick that if you needed to touch these up, how these layer. I'm just going to go back over the part that's worn off, which is really just on the inside of the rim. I'm going to give that a second to completely dry. Um, I mean, these layer amazingly though. Like, I just put that on and it melted right back in. I don't have any flaky spots. Again, it is very important to exfoliate your lips and properly moisturize before you put these on. I need like a parental block on like eat 24 and Grubhub because I've just been like ever since I came back from vacation it's like I want to eat everything all day long I just cannot stop eating I'm so hungry all the time okay so this is dried now let me zoom you back in so you can see can you see that it looks perfect it has not blood it has not gotten patchy it has not been streaky it has held up wonderfully in closing stila makes amazing uh matte lipsticks i really love every single one that i have tried um i do wish that their color selection was a little more wide um i do have them and almost all the shades that they do have these are my second favorite behind dose of colors so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted a picture today of a color wheel. On um, the next video I'm going to be working on for you guys, I'm gonna to try to do some this weekend, but possibly just next week. That is going to be all on color theory and what colors complement each other so you'll know maybe what lipstick will look best given what eyeshadow like palette color you're wearing, what colors will help, what color eyes pop more. And it also helps me even with things like blush. So I'm gonna go over that. I also had a request for determining your undertone to know you know, whether you're warm or cool or neutral. Um, there is a lot of misleading information out there, mostly because of MAC. Um, I've never worked at MAC, so I can't tell you 100% Without a doubt but I am an NW and Mac and I believe that they say it's supposed to stand for neutral warm but what you have to really think of that as is actually not warm because I'm neutral but if I'm anything I'm cool meaning I have pink undertones warm is yellow their NC which would be neutral cool 
should be pink based but it's yellow based so their system is a little screwy which really causes a lot of confusion for people so I'm gonna go through on determining it with your vein color and looking at things on your chest because you know your hands and other areas can get more color than other parts of your body I'm gonna get into all of that stuff I'll probably divide it up into two videos if you guys are interested in the kiss test video I did for these um, it was on my liquid lipstick swatch video the last color in each line I did a kiss test to show if they're transfer proof if you were on a desktop I will link it right here if you're on a mobile device you won't be able to see that so I will link it in the drop down bar below you just have to click on the little arrow next to the title of this video and it will drop down with all the details everything I discussed today guys will be linked in the description bar below as always if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time guys bye